All right, another quick update. Here's the 6.0. Um, I've got the heads taken off. Uh, I got everything pretty much cleaned up here. Let's see here. Do, 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 do. This pipe here is stuck under the actual freaking front cover. I've got to figure a way to pop that biatch off. It's really rusted. It's old. Doesn't want, I mean, it's old. Try and break it free. Uh, I'm going to clean the block up, move the starter, dip that, get it all cleaned up as well. And once the engine's back on, uh, I guess a pallet or something, I'll pop the back cover off and do the rear main seal um, and fix that. It's just at this point, it's it's a little tricky. You got to take the flywheel off and get all that. But that'll be easier once I put it on an actual block. So I got the lower, I got the oil pan and I got the lower oil pan taken off. Uh, it looks like maybe I had a gasket leak up in here somewhere. Definitely on this side where it's all built up with oil. So I'm going to go pick up a new gasket for that. Um, get this all cleaned up and get that put back together. The internals of it looks actually pretty good. Look in decent shape. It actually looks really good. Um, so that portion's that. Uh, this will be the bed plate here, the bottom of that. If you disconnected that portion, if you've got to go ahead and make your, uh, whatchamacallit, if you have to replace your bed plate gasket. Mine's not leaking. It looks good. I'm not going to touch it. Uh, what I do have to do is take this front cover off so I can take it down. I'm going to have this dipped and soaked for a while, replace the gasket as well. Um, I'm going to go around that portion and get that cleaned up. Uh, make a, you know, Just trying to, to fight the corrosion here. You can see back on the east coast here, you get all the salt starts corroding the aluminum. Um, let me go ahead and head out front. So I went ahead and machined the uh, the heads. It took about eh, one and a half to two thousandths off of uh, off the heads. They were actually pretty good, not bad shape. Uh, I caught the head gasket leak just in time. Got the pump cover. Uh, another issue I noticed too: the yellow O-ring. Previously, when I took this to somebody else or uh, the vehicle, I'm not the original owner. The person that owned this vehicle before, whoever did it or put it in, the high pressure oil pump. Uh, put the yellow o-ring on the top uh, and it kept on burning that's the problem it's supposed to be the black d-ring on the international that goes on top since then I've corrected that problem the original pump cover is oops is that when I got the new gasket as well get rid of that permatex shit uh, there's the heads painted up blue oil pan same thing Ford blue, cleaned up, insides cleaned up. Uh, I noticed a few pieces of plastic from the CAC tube uh, that broke off that was down in there all chewed up. So good thing I pulled the oil pan off to clean it up as well. But that's that. So the next uh, step here is to get the other parts in there cleaned up. Small garage. Sucks. Ugh, of course it fucking locked. So I'm be out. Let's see here. It's a lower oil. It's the manifold here. I'm going to take that and get it cleaned up as well since the EGR is blocked off. Uh, down there below that is the uh, the lower oil pan, the plate. Uh, there's two gaskets, little rubber gaskets, one and two on the bottom. I'm going to grab new ones of those. Um, then we'll get this thing started to put back together. I'm going to run over to my guy's machine shop, dip these things, soak them for a while, uh, run, pick up the gaskets, and head out. So far it's coming along.